You guys got Cody Faith from Extreme Survival TV. If you guys want to know what I'm going to be carrying while I'm homeless for the next month, maybe two months, give or take, stay tuned. Because it's coming right up. Right now we're going to be doing a quick little taking a look at what I'm going to be bringing with me on this little homeless adventure. Uh, this is basically just what I'm going to be carrying around with me daily. Um, excluding a tent that I'm going to be picking up hopefully sometime this week whether I can buy one or somebody gives me one lends me one whatever I'm not sure but let me go over it real quick this is also what I usually carry on a daily basis so let's jump right into it first pocket um, charging cables All right, let's just throw that to the side. That's it. I to throw it back in there. Come on, you guys. This is just a quick look. Um, little fake collapsible water bottle. Well, not fake, but cheap. Bought one. Bought it for uh very cheap. You can check out the video on that. Up top in this little pocket, we got. Which is a dual USB. If I can get the little uh, thing in my bobber, dual USB charger it takes regular, like a regular Android charging type. All right, that's I believe um, ten thousand ma, 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 ten thousand uh, mAh, whatever you want to call it. And guys, this is just a regular. Oh, cheap. Really like a school backpack, but whatever. Alright, get it open. Off the jump. This right here is just some um, snacks. Nothing fancy. Duct tape. This is a boatload of batteries, um, which is all double A and triple A. That's what my gear takes. Two little, um, 240 total hours. Um, little lanterns. 120 hours a piece. Survival blanket. Glow sticks. Nice little, uh, Harbor Freight light hook magnet. So, um, razor. And two things of medical tape. Jump up here. Headlamp. Nothing fancy. It's an energizer headlamp. Boogie wipes. Boogie, boogie, boogie wipes. Alright, let me resituate this camera. Alright. As you guys see, we got some hot hands, hand warmers, face masks, zip ties, just random medicine, NyQuil, and some Alka-Seltzer Plus, severe sinus, that's all that's in there. Let's go ahead and shove that back in there. We'll get back. All right, now on to the main back apartment. First thing you're gonna see, first aid kit. Pop this open for you guys real quick. If you guys want full reviews on anything, just comment and let me know. This is a uh, full first aid kit, literally a full first aid kit. Um, we got the other side. I added a couple things in there, but um, if you guys want like I said, if you guys want full reviews on this stuff or want to know where to get it, just let me know. Um, then we got this whole other bag, Plano bag. On the side, we got a little pouch, which contains 
wet fire, some Vaseline, a ferro rod, a big old safety pin type thing. So this toilet tissue. Okay, next pocket. Down to this front pocket, we have two emergency blankets. Go ahead and open it up. And let's see what we have. Life straw or uh, um, drinking um, purifying straw. A little pan. Another pair of extra socks. A little kit right here, which contains some paracord, some stakes, a sharpie, some earplugs, um, a little uh, washcloth that expands expands when it gets wet, and a hand uh, um, a little cable saw thing. Some jute twine, a little. Handheld saw, foldable saw. Another one of them little um, towels that grow when they get wet. And this little kit right here, which contains a bunch of goodies, which is also another Plano case, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, another Plano case. Plano, Plano, I don't know. Which is, uh, we got some more face masks. We actually have some fishing line. <clears throat> Which I took a uh, comb, cut the things off, and used it as for fishing line. Pretty ingenious, if you ask me. Um, some waterproof water purification tablet. Simple coast pen light. Some chapstick. A ferro rod. More zip ties down here. Simple bobber. Um, and some fishing hooks, sinkers, and all that good stuff. All right, well, that's my bag. Um, extra pair of socks, some twine, also with some toilet tissue up top. My buck one nineteen and drop cloth, medium one mil ten foot by twenty foot drop cloth. There you go. All right, let's get the rest of this put in here, and we'll be back. All right, now we're gonna jump into the very, very back pocket, which is right here, which more or less like made for like a laptop or something, but I have an extra poncho, smog, um, um, a, uh, what is this thing called? Bachloff, Bachloff, or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know, and some gloves. And I also have a couple bandanas that I'm going to throw in here too. But I don't currently have that in here yet. I actually just washed them. So, alright. Alright, so as you guys just seen what I'm going to be taking with me on this little um, excursion adventure of being homeless for the next month or so. Um, you didn't see clothes or anything on there because I will be able to meet up with my fiance during the day and get clothes or change clothes or do whatever I need to do, hopefully. Um, definitely be able to change clothes or whatever. So I'm not worried about bringing clothes or anything like that. I will also be picking up a tent or hopefully being able, hopefully being able to get a tent rather than having to put money out for it. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys think I forgot anything or just let me know if you guys want anything reviewed, let me know. I'll try to get that done for you too. Alright guys, see ya.